Good morning, Vietnam. <laughs> uh, hello, everybody. My name is Benji Sor, and you're watching, yeah, a battlefield video in LGU. Whoa, that's like the fourth sign of the apocalypse, I think. But uh, this is the Battlefield Back LB2 Vietnam Expansion Pack. If I make references to it, it'll be called Vietnam because it's easier to say. And the uh, gameplay that's playing in the background is a game of uh, sniping, sniping action on Operation Hastings Conquest, which is a four flag conquest map, which is one reason why it's my favorite map in Vietnam. And as usual, uh, my standard MO for battlefield gameplays it starts out really slow, and I die quite often. And then uh, as the game goes on, the action gets faster and faster, and then the last 20-30 uh, seconds are pretty ballsy. Uh, probably the best ending to a battlefield game I've had in quite some time, so I definitely hope uh, you all enjoy it. If you just want to skip forward to that part, it's fine with me too, I don't know. It's up to you. But being one of the first battlefield videos on LGU since the new management took over, if not the first, I really don't know how well this is going to be accept going to be uh, re received by the community. I don't know too much about uh, your guys' uh, backgrounds in Battlefield. Because of that, I have a hard time trying to figure out how to attack this commentary. Uh, I don't know if I should do tips, because I don't know if you're interested in tips. I don't know if I should talk about random stuff, because you already know about Battlefield. I don't know uh, if I should do a compare and contrast between Call of Duty and Battlefield, in case you're curious to get into Battlefield. If you're one of those people that's bored with Black Ops and wants to try a different game, especially especially now that the Bad Company 2 uh, price was cut, I see a lot of new players in Bad Company 2. Uh, I don't know if they're second accounts or if they're actually new players coming into the franchise. So I'm going to try it. Hopefully, I can shotgun it and uh, hit a, hit a couple of those areas in this commentary. Uh, if you're coming in from a new, another franchise like Call of Duty, there's one thing you should know about uh, Battlefield. Unless you're playing Squad Deathmatch, which is basically four teams of four players playing against each other, uh, one person cannot carry their team. They can't. It cannot be done. You can help carry the team, but ultimately, if, if your teammates are not doing their job, you will lose the game. So that you have to kind of crack that mentality of, of getting angry at everything. Because if you're, especially if you're a new person in Battlefield, levels 1 to 15 maybe will be your learning curve. And it's definitely a big learning curve for a shooter versus Call of Duty, or it's like levels 0 to half. And you're already at your learning curve. So you, that's some, those are things to expect. Uh, definitely try, if, you, if you're going into Battlefield, Make sure you're going in with somebody on your friends list that already knows the game. That way you can have somebody to kind of show you the ropes. And somebody you know in your squad will be able to communicate and carry themselves. It's very important. And the next thing... Uh, we'll do some general tips. Uh, battlefield tips. Pretty common knowledge if you know Battlefield. If you don't know Battlefield, then, then these aren't maybe new to you, I guess. Uh, Battlefield guns behave very similar to Black Ops guns in the sense that they have a lot of recoil and a lot of, a lot of spread. But take the worst Battlefield, the worst uh, Black Ops gun, and multiply it by four, and you get the best Battlefield gun. About. So, you can kind of see it needs a lot of burst firing, a lot of trigger control. You definitely do not want to be shooting at targets outside of your weapon's effective range. And if you're sniping, like I like to do, you have to realize there's bullet drop over a distance, and with all weapons, bullets are not instantaneously lasers. They do have a, a flight time that makes you have to account for your, your shot distances and how far you have to lead, which makes sniping more fun for me because you have to count the drop and the lead time and the angle they're running at, and the snipers will only kill with one shot to the head from long range, outside, basically anything outside the point blank range. And that's, you know, those are the things you have to understand, you have to master, if you want to get 
better at Battlefield. Even if you know those things, it's still only part of the learning curve because then you have to learn the maps, you have to learn the spawns, you have to learn the vehicle spawns, the vehicle strengths and weaknesses, how to counter a vehicle, uh, the strengths and weaknesses of each kit, and then subsequently the strengths and weaknesses of each weapon and in each attachment. And you have to learn that it, it's a very similar to Black Ops, but on like the next level in terms of complexity. That's not a diss to Black Ops, right? Black Ops does have a very deep gameplay, a very deep customization level, and it is a fairly deep game versus the previous Call of Duty titles. But even with that, it's still, in terms of what the player themselves has to know, it doesn't quite match Bad Company 2's level. And Vietnam is a little different because the weapons are balanced differently, and there's less weapons, so you have a little bit more simplicity in determining which one to use and how to use them. And I guess I'll ask a question right now. Uh, what is the LGU community's background on Battlefield? Uh, just leave a comment. Did you play the games? Are you interested in playing the games? Have you played since the beginning in 1942 all the way back in 2000 when 1942 was released? Did you play Battlefield 2? Just kind of, are you excited for Battlefield 3? You know, just. Let me know some of your background, so that way any future uploads I submit to LGU, I can kind of understand the audience of the people that are, will be watching, and then I can maybe give you guys some more advanced tips, some, maybe some map route videos, some uh, general tactics. I can do that. I don't really like doing that, but I always tell my people, the viewers on my channel, is uh, my, my tips and tactics come from watching my gameplay. But it's hard for me to really describe what I'm doing. It's a lot easier to watch what I'm doing. And that's just something that I'm probably going to say to you guys. But, you know, if you, if you want tactics and tips, then you can definitely, uh, I'll definitely give them to you. But I need to kind of know where your background is like so I can gauge them to the right degree of precision or depth. I don't want to give advanced tactics to people that don't know anything about the game. And likewise, I'd rather not give basic tactics to people that have hundreds of hours in the game. And if you're wondering, I myself have 480 hours in Bad Company 2, and probably 2,500 hours across the entire franchise. So I've been around for a while, and I'm fairly seasoned. At this point in the gameplay, you're probably noticing the action has picked up quite significantly. Uh, this is a four-flag conquest map, and this is kind of rare on a four-flag map that we have in four, we have in quad capped and. Basically, they're stuck in their spawn. And normally, I have a, a personal thing against spawn killing and spawn trapping, just because I like to try to be a fair, a, a good sport and play fair. But in this situation, um, I knew I wasn't going to get, was not going to get any points if I did not participate in the trap. So here I am, spawn trapping. Again, I don't really like doing it. But sometimes you gotta do what you have to do to get the points. Because otherwise your whole the whole time in the game will be wasted basically wasted if you're not gonna max out on the amount of points you can get because you're refusing to you know to do what needs to be done to get those points. That's another thing I wanted to mention. When I play Battlefield, I play for fun. I'm not MLG Pro. I consider myself decent. I know still a lot of people that follow my videos are gonna say that I'm I'm a lot better than decent. But I will always consider myself decent because there are a lot of times where I just hor I'm horrible at this game. And uh, so I can't consider myself MLG Pro. So you're not going to get MLG gameplay from me because it's not me. I know there are a lot of people that are better than me. And they don't necessarily do YouTube stuff. But that's basically what you're going to get from my channel. Just an, a decent player trying to make other people that may not be decent more decent. And uh, Battlefield community is very, very small versus the Call of Duty community, so uh, pretty much we all stick up for each other. I can point to a dozen guys that are really informative if you, if you want me to. Uh, you could go to my channel and just click on some of the videos I've liked and favorited and you'll see, maybe not so much favorited because I tend to use non-gaming videos for my favorites. But if you want a guy that's all Battlefield, I'm a 99 out of 100 games of Battlefield, that's me. And uh, 
I try to keep it fresh each time I try to do something different. It may not be terribly different, but recently I've had this huge addiction of traffic C4 to Jeeps and driving into tanks and blowing the tank up. So, what can you do? Anyway guys, my time is basically up. Uh, until next time, happy fragging.